Hey, I'm here with Matt and Rob from Don Broco. How's it going, guys? Great, thank you. Very good. So we are here to speak exclusively about your new video for Half Man, Half God. So there's a lot going on in it, and you guys looked like you had a blast shooting it. Where did the idea for the video come from? Um, it came about really just before we started our tour. So we were we were heading out in the UK uh, to do our, our kind of the biggest ever tour we've ever done as a band, and we wanted to to make the tour extra special and kind of bring everything together from this whole album campaign technology uh, and the videos have featured this one particular character this recurring character so uh, you've become a, a, an online cult legend amongst our yeah. fan base <laughs> no one knows who he is no one knows who he, he is <laughs> what, but he wears a cowboy hat he wears a mysterious hat. dude um, and yeah we basically brought him out from the tour uh, I, I'm sure we've mentioned this before but he's from Atlanta um, Georgia that's where we met him shooting the videos <laughs> and we had him basically come to the Atlanta show of Warp Tour when we did that last year okay uh, we just we said oh if you're around come down to the show and then as the idea kind of took a bit of a, a kind of you know head of steam we, we, we said why don't you jump on stage with us mm -hmm. and we ended up bringing him out on stage uh, the very start of the show of Warp Tour and I hid behind a load of uh, amps and he had a fake mic and basically lip synced the entire first song so imagine you've never seen Don Broco before <laughs> imagine you see yeah. a cowboy come out yeah. on stage and, and you're like, like uh, what so is think, going on I think on? our fans were like wow this is incredible people who knew us people who didn't know us at that point were like quite a little bit confused what the fuck's going <laughs> on yeah um and that was an interesting show as well because it was we'd been uh, bumped up to the main stage and mm -hmm. it was just kind of packed out. Um, oh yeah, there were a lot of people. It was there. a lot of people there. It was crazy. Amphitheater stage. Yeah, and it, and it was raining, so and everyone was, was packed in. And then the cowboy the started cowboy to mosh pit. Out. That's totally. Casual. Everyone went day will never forget. Yeah, he, he <laughs> was in the middle of the pit and people were circling around and we were just like, this is incredible. Like we just had such a good time that day. And off the back of that, we were like, we should bring him to the UK and mm -hmm. he should he should come on tour with us all the time. <laughs> um, and yeah, so we, we were on tour and we were just filming all this stuff and we had the idea, um, right, we should we should turn this into an actual music video. And, you know, it's nice to, it's nice. We always like at the end of a tour, you know, collecting all the footage together and, and you know, creating something that for us is like a lovely memory of the tour especially and with it being our biggest ever shows we wanted to document it oh, yeah, in some absolutely. way it had to yeah. be done and this just felt like a really creative way of doing it yeah and so we we kind of had this concept of what would it be like you know this what would happen if the cowboy actually went to a Don Broco show you know in his like weird twisted kind of creepy world that he comes from he's like your mascot yeah he's like our <laughs> mascot and this the, I think what we love about him as a character is he's like very funny but then there's still this kind of weird kind of scary scary <laughs> element to him that yeah. we don't even understand yeah. um so yeah we we shot um the video in Nottingham so that was it was our it was our Nottingham uh, arena show and then we filmed some of the other scenes with the cowboy like the setup scenes in Edinburgh we had a, a day in Edinburgh and we just pulled it together really last minute it was one of these ideas that we had like a few days before the tour let's see if we can make it work <laughs> and it was just an absolute blast shooting it I mean the actual process of filming all the bits in Nottingham was kind of crazy because we're you know we're actually playing the show yet at the same time trying to get all this stuff and mm -hmm. getting the cowboy in the pit and obviously everyone recognizes him so everyone wants a selfie with him everyone's trying to nick his hat everyone's <laughs> just trying to like grab him and and hang out with him so yeah it was a bit of a nightmare actual filming it probably one of the most stressful shows i've ever i've ever experienced just because not only are you performing this huge show you're trying to like almost direct a music video mm -hmm. at the same time and yeah directing that many people and you know people actually listening to you when you're being like okay now do this do that was was challenging well, but the final product super came fun. out good yeah. so you guys did a great job it was fun yeah so you guys are known for having pretty extravagant videos that you you put a lot of work into them a lot of thought into them how important do you think music videos are to the creative process of releasing singles or an album hmm. i i think they're super important i think they've 
you notice that it's become less, I think, less of a thing these days. I don't know if people put quite as much, um, yeah, importance on it. But for me, yeah, it's like it's up there with almost, you know, not the song, but it's it's just it's just there because a, a video can really elevate a song mm-hmm. in, a, in, a, in a and kind of tap into this completely different feeling that you might have gained from it and. You know, some of my favorite songs, when you think of them, you then think of the video and mm-hmm. it just gives you that kind of maybe deeper understanding or different interpretation of it. Um, and it, yeah, it just kind of brings them to life. So I think it's great, you know, when, especially when you haven't maybe heard from a band for a while and then it's just like, boom, here's a song, here's a video. That gets me super pumped, you know, mm-hmm. especially yeah, I mean, in the same in the same way as well. Further further down, most bands' campaigns, when they've released songs already and you know them musically and you've listened to the album and then you see the video for it later, that as well. It's a it's a completely different kind of experience. So, yeah, I love it. Yeah, that's new perspective. Would you guys ever consider doing a movie at some point in your career? <laughs> I would, love, I would, I'd I love, would that. love that. We are all pretty terrible actors uh, but I mean, speak, <laughs> speak for yourself I mean, no yeah we are very bad at acting but I feel like if we could make a music video in the tone that we've made or make a sorry a movie in the tone that we've made the music videos where it's okay to be bad at acting then yeah to be fair like, be acting insane. is something I would love to be good at because I just love film I love movies I just, I, it's so hard. Like if you, if it's not something that comes naturally to you, when think, you actually try, when you're put in front of the camera, it's, you know, it's like a scary thing and you yeah, freeze up. Having had that very small experience, like you really then start to respect musicians who've gone on to make films and you're like, wow. Especially How when they do that? a good job, you know, like Machine Gun Kelly or Eminem or anyone who's actually done a film and been good. It's just yeah. like, wow. That's amazing. How do you do both? How yeah. can you be so talented? Just learning all those lines as well. I mean, I struggle enough learning like three minutes worth of a song, <laughs> li- songs worth of lyrics. And then there's like, you know, all this dialogue they learn. It's crazy. Mm. Blows my mind. Maybe you guys should make a Western film and you can keep the theme going. That would be cool. <laughs> Maybe not too We could do a silent movie as well. Then we don't have to learn any, uh, any words. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> I think I just saw the light bulb go on. Yeah, <laughs> a silent western. Yeah. Cool. That'll work. All right, well, thank you guys. Be sure to check out the video for Half Man, Half God. This is Don Brogo.